Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae Ave, if you don't know me. And today we're gonna be discussing what they don't tell you about breast implants. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. <music> So one of the first things I've noticed and no one told me, I guess it's obvious, but I am a stomach sleeper and I've had these implants for five months and I still can't lay on my stomach because of how uncomfortable it is. There's so much pressure on my chest. I can't stay asleep so I usually have to roll over to like my side or my back to get in a comfortable position so if you have implants you understand what I'm talking about or if you're getting implants then that is something you know to consider um, that might happen to you also if you gain weight and I mean like if you gain 20 pounds your implants are gonna look different completely different so it's I, it's hard to say like without offending anyone but they're gonna look like not even implants it's just gonna be a lot of extra fat around the implants and then they're also gonna hang more so that is something to consider also if you lose weight I heard that they can sag more I'm not sure I've lost like five pounds since I got the implants and I didn't notice any major sagging one of the major major things no one told me about implants is you have to wear a bra 24 7 what like I'm thinking I paid this money for them they can just hang and do their thing but no you have to wear a bra 24 7 so after this video I'm gonna go ahead run and put a bra on speaking of bras most bras now are very uncomfortable for me since I got the implants now People might think I'm crazy because when I went to Victoria's Secret, I was still looking at push-up bras. And the reason I was looking at push-up bras, it wasn't to make me look bigger than I already am because I feel like these are big enough. But at Victoria's Secret, they have these push-up bras like with the shine strap. And that's the only bra they had with the shine strap. And I wanted the shine strap because I'm extra. So I wanted like a lot of bling and when i tried that bra on i kid you not guys like my implants lifted like it was so uncomfortable i feel like my implants were all the way up here so push-up bras are definitely not comfortable for me personally um since i've gotten my implants so i'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see what i'm talking about so it'll be in the left corner it should pop up right now but yes this is the victoria's secret bra that i'm talking about the very sexy bra that i wanted but yeah didn't work out another thing they don't tell you is when you're working out you're gonna have to wear a bra that's super compact like that just squeezes the mess out of your boobs because when i'm running at the gym or even if i'm walking fast and they're kind of bouncing that's also uncomfortable like i don't know how to explain it you just can feel something moving that shouldn't be if that makes sense so definitely with implants you want something that's super compact that's gonna you know really press you when you're working out especially like high impact workouts another thing is the attention you're gonna get so the attention you're gonna get from your breast implants is crazy it's out of this world like if i walked out like if i'm going to dinner tonight and i wear this i'm getting attention from a lot more men <laughs> than previously and then i'm getting a lot more comments also i get attention from women as well like when i just walk into the room they're just like their eyes are literally down literally <laughs> So um, if you are self-conscious about attention or you don't want to draw the wrong kind of attention, then that is definitely something you want to keep in mind. You can still get your implants, you know, especially if that's something that you want, but you probably don't want to be like me and wearing stuff that's super open because you're definitely going to get attention from that. Also, when I used to work at Victoria's Secret, oh my gosh crazy stories 
working at that place but when I used to work there my manager when she would talk to me and I would kind of have something on low cut she would literally not even look at my face like she's talking to my boobs and I'm like are y'all gonna respond to her like because she's just paying attention to my boobs not me and so I thought it was interesting but yeah some people like it's just there so they're not gonna even look at you at your face when they're conversating with you they're gonna keep looking at your boobs and so i just thought that was interesting i didn't know that was gonna happen yeah. but supposedly you're supposed to replace your implants every 10 to 12 years i don't know if that's the right time frame i don't know don't quote me on that okay look it up or ask your surgeon but yeah so in 10 years um i'm gonna have to replace these things and spin another bag so that is something to consider if you don't want to keep up with the maintenance then breast implants might not be for you i've heard of women keeping them in for 20 years i wouldn't feel comfortable doing that but to each their own i'm not judging you know but yeah the maintenance on the breast implants you will have to keep that up also if you happen to get pregnant with your implants i heard a lot of women who had children and they got their implants first and had the baby after they said that their implants felt more natural so their breasts were softer mine are like firm they're not hard but they're firm so that's another thing I thought for some reason they were gonna be a little bit softer, but they're still firm, which is okay. But I wanted to tell you that, bring this out. No one told me your posture can change when you have breast implants. It makes sense, but just you wanna be mindful. And I oftentimes have to do this. You wanna be mindful of the way you're sitting up. So sometimes like, I'm gonna show you an example. Sometimes I'll be like this you see like i'm kind of hunched over like no you don't want to do that so make sure like you stand up straight so that your posture is good so that is one of the things that's super important that i've noticed but no one really told me was your posture can change and i mean it makes sense because you have a lot of weight here so I just wanted to point those things out another thing is i've had a few people mistaking me as <laughs> this is so embarrassing as a stripper i'm not a stripper and even if i was i would probably be killing it but <laughs> i'm not a stripper so one thing is that um with your breast implants like if you're wearing a top like this your clothes like you're gonna you're gonna be sexualized sometimes like everything looks more sexual now that you have your implants you're more voluptuous now so before when i was like a 32d and my breasts were kind of like they were flat in my opinion they they were flat i have pictures they were flat it wouldn't look so sexual i mean it would still i would still look cute but now it's like everything that i put on is super sexy so sometimes um, i want to tone that down or i don't want to look very sexy so i'll make sure that i'm not wearing something that's super open or that i have a tank top under or i'll do something like this you see how i kind of pulled the shirt together so i'll pin it so this doesn't really look you know sexual but yeah if it's open like if it's open then yeah things are gonna look hot and spicy so just wanted to inform everyone but those are the things that they don't tell you about breast implants i hope this was helpful and if you're getting your implants i'm excited for you and i hope you make a video on your journey and yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.